Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Interview with the Whisperer, which is a game where you meet an old man who claims he has invented a way to talk to God. Quick note for this game to process your questions and replies to the characters in it. It actually has its AI on a server, and Dev has said they're taking those servers down on June 1st, so you will not be able to play this game very soon. What would you say to a god, should you have the chance to speak with them? Hmm. Nah, too easy. God used to speak to us through burning bushes and hazy visions, but not anymore. They've upgraded their equipment to make contact through shortwave radio. Hey, how you doing? It's a manly badass hero. Hmm, could be funny, but I don't know. Maybe a biblical quote, but which one? Maybe this god is not even the father of Jesus to begin with. Or maybe I just flown for five hours and drove for three more into the Galician countryside just to meet a senile man who spent too much time listening to the static. Yeah, that's probably gonna be it. Manuel, this is a journalist who came to see you about your machine. Pay attention to be kind to them. I'm not hungry, Mermedios. Ah, uh, excuse him. As you can see, Don Manuel has trouble focusing and following conversations. But if you're persistent enough, you will see this man is full of wisdom. That is all right, Don Mermedios. Thank you so much for your hospitality. I'll handle it from here. Very well. I'll leave you two to it. I'll be tending the cows if you need me for anything. Thank you so much. You better behave, you hear me, Manuel. Why don't you tell this person to behave instead, huh? The last one that came by was a joke of a journalist. Good grief. It's all right. Don't know, Remedios. I'll be tactful. I'll come back at noon. Thank you. Give me a minute to review my notes and set my recorder and we'll begin, Don Manuel. I've never gone hunting in my life. Even my father was a fine hunter, so they say. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Dona Remedios wasn't exaggerating. This may be the trickiest interview I've ever attempted. I try to get as much interesting information as I can and call a day when I found enough to compose an article. After how much it took to get here, I'm not leaving empty handed. Let's question Manuel. I'm curious if this is a multi-ending game. It might be. Because it looks like it's a little three-form. Notes. Learn as much as you can from the special radio. How it works. How he made it. Etc. Let's see. Background career. Assess his sanity. Dig as much as you can about the supposed god entity. Try to get access to the machine. Let's try this. Hmm. I'll just give you an overview, because I've yet to decide if it's safe to shift the technology of the world. God does not have a corporal form, but from time to time they come to our plan to check on things. So communication is not always possible, at least not within the shortwave system I devised. Maybe with the proper technology we could even speak with them wherever they go, when they leave for outer space. Basically, this multi-radio system that emits and receives from over 300 different frequencies that constantly change in a huge variety of sinusoidal patterns. If you nailed on God's harmonies, you can emit a message and also receive answers. I'm not ready to disclose how these sinusoidal patterns work, though. So you get some information on the machine. How did you discover this, maybe? That's a tricky question. I'm a radio aficionado myself, and I was trying to come up with ways to encrypt my communications so the government wouldn't pick up on my conversations. Good for you. As I started working on this polymorphic multi-layer transmission system, I found out someone was already working on a system similar to mine. So I decided to try and match this weird sinusoidal gibberish in the wave waves, and it happened to be God. I wasn't even looking for them. We could write this off as a miracle if he may. Maybe it was God who inspired me to work on this to begin with. I discovered God is not, not as omnipotent as many cultures paint them, 
but they still have their ways. It got kind of a little weird as it went down. Let's try um ask you some personal information. How old are you? Would you believe me if I told you I'm not sure anymore? I stopped cutting when I got over 90. Wow, good for you. What is God like? God doesn't do favorite colors, food, music, or anything. God is a sentient form of energy without the same set of senses that we have. This question is just irrelevant to them. Does God like us? Let's try this one. Yes, God is watching. But not as you may think. God is not watching over us, or just watching. God comes from time to time to observe us. In the same way an artist would review their past work when they feel like it. We've been on our own for a long time now. Let's ask a personal question. What's your educational background? Let's see if the game picks us up. I'm not really- Oh, look, it did! See? I'm not really an academic person. The only things I know how to program are watches and videos. My expertise resides in the end of logic, and even that I'm self-taught. I learned by breaking and fixing stuff. But in a sense, I see myself as an artist or a wizard who plays with a spellbook, but doesn't really get the science behind it. Sorry to disappoint. Let's try out something like really different. I'm just curious if the game will pick up on the antlers. Maybe didn't. Let's see. An urban religious man. But somehow we could call this divine inspiration. I mean, there's still a lot of magic we don't understand beyond human purpose. What drives us to do the things we do? Is there a secret explanation to it? Okay, so you still have to keep it a little bit in the bounds. Let's, let's do a random. One more random test. Yeah. So. It has to still be in the framework of what the game is. It, it doesn't co compromise that much random stuff. Now that I think about it, I think I can nail down the time when this hunger for technology started. From 1950 to 1955, there was this woman, Dolores, who came to live in town. I was around my 20s, and I had a predisposition to mess with electronics already by that time. But meeting her, in her weird prototypes, would spark this lifelong quest in me. Ah, I still miss Dolores so much. Ask more questions with Dolores? Ah, Dolores, what a woman. It was with her that I realized I am asexual. She taught me that word, actually. And we're speaking deep Spain in the 50s here. Decades went by until I heard that word used by someone else. Besides self-discovery, the greatest gift I got from her was a bunch of manuscripts that described technology that was yet to come. I don't know if she worked for the government or some top company. But she knew about personal computers way before they got here. I devoured those manuals again and again. Time traveler? Or an angel? She usually visited me here. I spent whole evenings drinking and talking about the possibilities of encoding information and whatnot. Ahead of her time, that woman. She's my biggest inspiration. It was just after she mysteriously vanished from town that I started working on radios. Let's try this. Ah, Dolores, my muse. No, I didn't receive anything. Future technology? Let's try this. I don't know how much juice was left in me. But I guess I'll just keep messing with electronics. This radio may be my magnum opus, but I'm growing a bit tired of talking to God by now. So I interpreted that as what's your future is. Or like, future things you'll make. I'll go back to doing what I've been doing my whole life. Enjoy myself and not give it to him. Or maybe it could be exciting to try to contact the devil. Let's actually, let's let's follow on that point. The devil. There is a devil. Not the devil, nor Hades, nor Beelzebub, of course. But there is a destructive entity whose purpose is to undo our God's work. Don't worry. God told me the devil won't just destroy our world. The devil just likes to edit our world. Natural. So they're a SimCity player. Natural disasters, plagues, any form of chaos, really.
Can I use a machine? Hmm, I don't know. I still don't trust you, no offense. Let's talk for a bit more. Ask me again at my later, I may reconsider. Is the devil evil? Not exactly devil we know. Same dialogue as before. Where is God? Right now? I don't know. Probably around. But they're not always here. They told me they roam the cosmos. So they inhabit a limited amount of space or energy. I know how big they are or how fast they travel though. God's not always around, they roam the cosmos. Maybe let's try asking some more personal questions. You're... Asexual? Yes, I am asexual. There's nothing much to tell about. My parents couldn't really put the finger on what was going on with me. I guess that's why they wanted me to join the church after they gave up on finding someone for me to marry. As if the church was some sort of asexual entity itself. <laughs> My ass. But yeah, I'm not interested in either the church or having sex. Your career. Family are. I'm only son, something I'm sure my parents regretted at some point. My father was pretty strict, nor a really smart person, simple and obstinate. He only cared about hunting and making sure I lived by the proper values. Whatever that means. My mother was cold and distant. Never really knew how to express love. Not even to me nor my father. But I know she cared that we were all healthy and fine. In her own way. I don't really miss him, if you ask me. What else can we ask to get you to trust us? How long have you been doing this? Distilling liquors has kept me sane for a long time. Is an art so different to messing with appliances? There's less science to it and more alchemy, more magic. You master liquor crafting through sheer experimentation. And it's so fun, even when it goes wrong. I'm not a heavy drinker, though. There's an added pleasure to making liquors. When you come up with a nice batch and share it with your neighbors, a bottle of something nice can always put a smile on the townsfolk. Does the machine really work? I think I might have already asked this. I told you already. Yep. Multi radio system. Can I see it? No, that, that kind of verb means something else. My parents were really worried about me. They thought I developed some kind of obsession. It took them a long time to understand this is what make my what makes my life worth living. But since I was able to make enough money visiting the neighbors and fixing the radios and TVs in the end they stopped caring. Their only regret is I've died without descendancy, I guess. But what can I say? I didn't come to this world to continue someone's bloodline. Can I use it? What else can we talk to you about that would make you us more trustable? Let's try this. Where is the devil? No. Same answer there. Is God nice? Don't know, probably around. Okay, interpreted that wrong. Your childhood. Don't want to speak more about your family. Home. I've never been a man of faith, agnostic of anything. Made contact with God at first blew my mind. But a few weeks into, and I feel weird saying this, I expected more from God. They don't feel as omnipotent as every culture describes them. I don't know. If anything, I feel compassion for them. Dona. The thing that me the most about God's true nature is the role they played in the creation of humankind. It clashes against every myth about the creation of our world. Earth, this planet, already existed before God visited it. They only terraformed it. It's no small feat, don't get me wrong. It's just... It is a SimCity player. No, this all wasn't some grand design. God just kickstarted life as we know it, but couldn't possibly predict what's become of it. Actually, yeah, let's dig deeper in that. That must be the most groundbreaking discovery I got out of our conversations. God didn't create the universe. 
but they sure did create life on Earth. God has terraforming powers, or should we say capabilities. They pick up a barren rock in the middle of the universe and generate an ecosystem in it by stimulating it electrochemically. They told me the process takes about a million years. Then they oversee the early stages of the development of species. When satisfied, God moves on and leaves nature to run its course. So I think this is going with the, uh, God as an advanced alien species. And the devil would be like their angry cousin. Do you know this is the land where they start to finish the process? Galicia is the bit of land in which God first breathed life into the, when the Earth was just a supercontinent. In fact, God forbid me to speak the name of that supercontinent in front of the machine. So it may trigger some unpredictable developments. Oh God! Are, are you the machine? Earth Control Unit 7.2 entering maintenance mode. Error. Cannot access maintenance logs. Warning. 7844Q. Biobrain processor deteriorate. Editing access. Journalist trust gauge. True. Print journalist trust level. Current trust level 30%. Ask more personal questions to increase. Please contact God Entity and request retrieval. Returning to Human Handler State Machine. Yes. So our current trust level is only 32%. It's gonna be interesting when we get to the machine. I'm assuming we're gonna type messages to God. Let's go terribly wrong. Like, hey God, have you ever like seen this thing called anime? It's like, what's that? Oh, here, take a look. Oh God. God's gonna be like, oh God, what have I done? Why does the devil hate God? Do you take poetry? I'm not a Greek writer myself, but Dolores liked poetry a lot. So the way to feel closer to her, I tried my hand at writing some. This one I wrote about two decades ago. Fleeting feeling of numbness. Bare wires against an old man's skin. Fleeting sensation of love. Russ. Breath. Oblivion. Nail. Poetry. Let's dig a little deeper on that. Oh, I love poetry. Here's a recent one. Mysterious life form. Grand instigator of life. We all from terraformation arise. Forbidden supercontinent, ample to oblivious atom. Sci-fi poetry, huh? Is that popular on the internet? Huh. It is, actually. Adam. Do you have any recurrent dreams? Myself, I have some weird ones. But more than a recurrent dream, I see it's more like a recurrent setting. And I keep visiting my dreams, a place that feels out of this world. Maybe because you're a robot. But I guess you didn't come here to hear me rambling about my night trips. Please go on. Let's ask about the dreams. What about your dreams? Now have a dream of a facility with a view to white rocky landscape. Dreams are never the same, but they have recurring characters. There's this doctor with a light lab coat named Fidel Medeiros, who asked me a lot of technical questions that for some reason I'm able to answer. Remember that name. Although the memories of those conversations are always fuzzy. Hmm. It starts to remind me of my father for some reason. Sometimes Dolores is around with an elegant office suit. Whenever I find her in a dream, we often end up having a glass of wine at some sort of observatory. Hmm. I've had that dream too. Yeah, even the office suit part. Was so it no matter how hard I try, I never managed to leave the facility. The times I tried, I happened to sleepwalk and awaken in the middle of a forest. And that can be pretty dangerous to give my old age. So at some point, I stopped trying. Who is Fidel? Hmm, Dr. Fidel Medeiros. I don't know if I ever saw him on TV or what. For some reason, he got stuck in my dreams. It looks like we were working together on something, a project named Second Installment. I feel he respects me. He has a lot of questions I'm able to answer eloquently, and that fills me with pride. His face is pretty familiar to me. Feels like my dad, but not exactly him. They get along really well, like he knows what's going through my head. Besides that, his presence is a mystery to me. What is second installment? That project kept dreaming with second installment. Can't put my finger on what it's about, since I never remember exactly what my role is in the project. But I seem to be pretty knowledgeable about everything surrounding it. 
and Dr. Medeiros always comes to me to excel my many technical details. If I really force my brain, I can grasp some keywords instinctively like parametric environment, character translocations, safe word vulnerability. All chippers to me. I'd look it up actually, you found nothing relevant. Let's start asking about these then. Hmm. Think of what I want. I might have spelled something wrong too, I was just kind of typing it in fast. Remedios is nice if you keep check on me. I'd probably be dead by now without her. God is nice and all, but do you all think often about the devil? No, nothing yet. One thing I regret is not have visited other countries. No. Yeah, I mean, it does say it's a dead end, I just want to try it anyway. Um, I think it has to do with the Pangea thing. Okay. 82% trust. Need a little bit more. Donor Remedios is a kiss and cousin of mine. I owe her a lot. When parents were gone, she started making sure I was alright. She lives in a farm nearby. It makes me food and puts a bit of order in this house. Says he's old bones, so I want me to do most of her chores. Never question my obsessions. But she does treat me a bit like a child, even if I'm more than a decade older than her. Can't complain, though. If she wasn't around, I'd just starve among a pile of trash. Maintenance unit. Ah, oh, Dolores, wish you were here. Earth Control Unit. Let's ask about that. 7.2. What is Earth Control Unit 7.2? No, didn't get anything like that. What does the devil want? Let me try to look at the devil again. God's work. God strikes me as a playful infant. Is that weird? Try asking about this. The cosmos. Well, let's try asking. Maybe let's go with this. How do I contact the devil? Terraforming energy life and we guessed, huh? Alright, let's do this. Give me access to your phone via Bluetooth, please. We're gonna need the satellite if we want to reach a distant entity. Done. Go ahead. Alright, here we go. I'll expand the search range for godlike entities. Yeah, this is gonna get weird. Oh, we got something. Apparently we just contacted the devil. Uh-oh. See, Damon message. To destroy god entities, speak the following code through the shortwave. Edit admin dot bat. Uh, what are you? Can we ask anything else? I think living in my life doesn't have a meaning. Use a machine. I've always considered myself an artist. I've never done anything wrong just relevant in my life. Folks around here are in more need of tools and beauty. I do like the toy of drawing beauty out of the most humble craftsmanship. Let me be useful for later with the second run. Let's just try the code. Cooking with Galego simply means I hope you can stay for lunch. Arbison Trust. Can I use the machine? Alright, you look like a decent person. Let me prop the machine. Hmm. 
Oh god. Salutations, human entity. Been well finally let somebody else communicate with us. Before we start a conversation, we need to know. What do you feel about God? I'm gonna say neutral for now. I see. It's interesting to witness what your own cultures put your mind through. To think about what originated life, as you know it, in such a way. And speaking about existing in this time and age as a human entity. What do you enjoy the most about the human experience? The struggle. Interesting. We wish we could be contained into a human entity's brain processor to be able to experience such things. In a way, you are privileged. As a means to improve your experience as a human entity, we are willing to offer you a gift. In just one word, only one word, what would you like us to remove from reality? Just name it. Choose one word, and we shall remove it from your world. What would you like us to remove from reality? Does this have an actual major effect? I was about to say like anime, something goofy, but let's think of something a little different. <laughs> Something that the game actually will me recognize. I'm trying to think of something that's like both practical and something you may say. Right? Because I don't want to say things like, well, oh, remove all suffering. Because suffering is an integral part of uh, what you would call the human psyche. Without suffering, sometimes you would have no development, you would have stagnation. Ironically enough. So you have a lot of emotions like hate, pride, anything you can almost describe as sense. You need like a certain little balance of that for the mental motivations to do things. And I don't know how what extent this is actually going to change the ending. It might just be, I've removed that thing, and they just leave. Let's actually choose something radical. This is not something I would actually say, but just like, I want to see if something really radical is going to change thing. Remove humanity, right? Let's see if this actually happens. Oh, see it does. It did. Okay, so we got some we got some cooking some gas here. Are you so disenchanted with humanity that not only enough for you to remove yourself from society, that you also want to make everyone disappear? Is that right, Shinji? What's this planet to you about your existence? We shall grant your request, no matter the implications. Oh god! Of writing access to EarthCom's unit 18.41 entering maintenance mode. Locking perception of reality, humanity. Permanent lead from database. Resetting encounter, reconfiguring world native coherence of factor. Returning to human handler state machine. Let's see, present advanced state of dementia. This criminal machine he claims he made is but a very elaborate and innovative Christmas tree. His old appliances stuck together forming an amusing display of lights. I recommend not follow up on this story to avoid bringing uncomfortable attention to a senile old man, remembered by some mentos to the from Emmerich. But don't worry, Mr. Fatera. I have more than enough for my article. Let's see if my editors have a spell in the next issue for your story. Please take care. You don't have to stay for lunch. Sorry, I gotta run if I'm making time to the airport. Okay. But we were still there. Maybe it was more like theoretical removal of humanity. We were just machine in the end. <laughs> we already weren't human. Um, but let's try to get another ending. Okay, so let's try to contact God. I use the machine. Let's try using the uh, code the devil gave us. Might have to edit it later, but 
Command X, edit admin notepad. Initializing system override protocols. Ending second installment deployment. Devil routine, restoring terraformation process. Resetting world 10%. Resetting world 51%. Resetting world 89%. Resetting world 99.99999%. So that's a true, that's a true reset. This is something interesting I discovered in a recent ever playthrough. Do you want to know about brain processors? Well, I can tell you what little I got from reading the manuscripts Dolores gave me. But I want to get the science behind it. Supposedly at some point technology should advance enough so we can recreate the human brain. Some applications are, for example, to repair brain damage or destroy someone's identity while they operate their bodies and later reinsert them in the original host and such. Can replicate them for the life of me, though. I said happy here. Our data shows that it's extremely healthy for human entities to process feelings of love and gratitude. Your psyche will benefit from these thoughts. It's speaking about existing in this time and age as a human entity. What do you enjoy the most about the human experience? Same dialogue here. Let's, I just want to see how much different we can get by giving different answers at the end. Alright, let's try the joke option I wanted to do. Interesting choice. And with that, you would be happier. So, a joke option just doesn't give any unique dialogue. The humanity thing did give unique dialogue, though. Blocking perception of reality? Anime. Yep, the anime's gone. But notice, I don't think they're actually deleting the concept, because they said that this god, for the most part, just terraforms. Um, they're deleting the comment, the, the word from our brain. I'm gonna say hate here. So you despise the entity that caused your very own existence. Although I'm sure that what you despise is what's meant culturally in your context. And speak about existing in this time and age as a human entity. So, so far humanity is the only thing that gave us a really unique answer. What else would? The strike god itself. Let's see that. You humanities have the best sense of humor. Still, we will keep our word. You shall have existence free of the cultural influence of god entities. Okay, that did give us a unique answer. When we access Earth comes unit 18.41 and remain its mode. Like a perception of reality, God. Parameter delete from database. Resetting encounter and reconfiguring world name coherence factor. Training human handler state machine. Don't care. Indifference only leads to ignorance. Ignorance is bliss. No need to burden your brain with the intangible in today's society. And speaking about existing in this time and age as a human entity. Floor is the only person I've ever loved in my life. I think we ever had romance to give her anything. I just enjoyed the feeling of loving her in my own way. I never desired her physically, but she was the most beautiful human being my eyes ever laid eyes upon. Also, it's been the only person I've ever been able to genuinely communicate with. She shared my hunger for messing with technology, and was super interested in all my silly experiments. I would have married her if that meant keeping her by my side. Never mustered the courage of offering her a marriage without sex, so... Ah, oh, Dolores. Scared. It can be terrifying to meet your maker. The dread arisen from the sole font of being made is something even us can relate to. The human culture has done its part when about spreading feelings of fear as running god entities. Okay, skipping ahead. Love? No. It seems like only um, humanity and gods so far have given us any unique answers. Hmm. So, that's it for Interview with the Whisper. It is all endings. There's only two endings to the game, which is the devil ending and the ending where you just basically pick a word from God. Although it seems like there's slight variations, we found two of them. 
rest of them are generic. There might be some other more unique variations, but uh, you'd have to go and experiment with that yourself. If you are watching this video on the day it is first released, aka uh, the 31st of May, then you can go and play the game. The servers are still up. Starting June 1st, the developers have said they're taking down the servers because servers cost money, so you won't be able to play this game anymore. Because they are apparently using a server to maintain the AI for processing the answers to the game. That was a big motivation for me, like, you know what, I should finally play this. It's gonna be gone. It is gonna be another, like, form of lost media. But yeah, it's a, um... I actually liked it quite a bit. It's... You, you said you just sit there and you talk to the person, you kind of like ask questions and stuff. For the most part, the answering system is pretty accurate. Some questions it kind of flubbed on, but it was pretty good about it. And there's some like nice thoughts. There were some real twists, like when you realize everyone's a weird droid thing. So I had a partial theory based on some of the information we were able to kind of somewhat plumb out. This obviously is not our universe because we believe we don't like go beep boop or anything, as far as we know. And there was a line I discovered there about the brain processors and the future technology and everything that Dolores had. And the fact that to delete God, you just delete like a program, that they're a terraformer or something like that, and so on and so on. And all that kind of reminded me a bit of a certain of a story. I'm not going to mention which story it is. It's from the uh, creator of a uh, certain anime evolving yonder race. I'm trying to be a little bit vague in case I accidentally spoil something, but some people will put two and two together. I will say it's a visual novel. But in that story, and the connected stories of those stories, there is an implication that the gods and everything and the people, that there's simulationary brains in a jar aspects, right? So I'm going to say when they say they go around terraforming, there's different ways you could take that. You could take that this is a holographic simulation, like a video game or a generated kind of world, in a computer. Or, it's more of a physical thing, but it is still a simulation, so it could be, say, these are actually androids. They put a bunch of androids. It may not even be an actual giant Earth. It could just be simulated. It could be um, a bit of a movie set, Truman Show smoke screen. But this god communicates with radio waves. They go over and make multiple projects. They don't seem to have many great powers except for deleting words. So all they do is like, oh yeah, you're just going to forget that word. It just, that word doesn't exist. That's all they do. That's why we don't disappear when we say, like, let's delete humanity. And you get that double twist where like, oh, you, you the Pangea, the, the old man's head opens up. But you know, also our head opens up at the end too. So like every entity in this planet is these droids. So... I'm looking at, they're probably trying to simulate humanity for experiments, might be replicating certain errors in people, so on and so on. That's the deepest lore aspect. And the devil is either a virus or a corporate sabotage kind of thing. But the deepest lore is just a addition into the story. The real main meat of the game is just the experience that kind of, it really is you know, the one piece is the friends you meet along the way. <laughs> and I think it's a unique experience. The only part I partially felt like was a little undercooked or a little too short, rather, is the actual talking with God. It would have been nice if there was a few more questions you could have asked the, the God entity. Like, the God would be like, oh, I got you got five questions, make them good. And you have a bunch of unique answers to those questions. It would have been great. Um, and it also would have been interesting if we could have contacted the devil outside of, like, that little text message. But yeah, overall, an interesting experience. I'm glad I was able to play it before it's gone forever. Anyway, so if you go off and watch you play Interview with the Whisperer, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.